What you doing? I am laying out the shelves for a built-in bookshelf. Um, I've been bugging him for since the house has been built. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is probably this is one of the first steps to sheathing because uh, we we want a lot of our furniture to be built in. A lot of the furniture that's in there right now isn't built in, uh, but it's just stuff to get us by in the interim. Because um, we're not going to be doing a lot of building stuff this winter um, because it's really tough to start the generator when it's cold, and it's really tough to do stuff outside with my hands when it's cold. Um, so it's a pretty warm day for almost December. Um, so we're gonna start this bookshelf. Um, it's a live edge slab. You that, getting short? Yeah, it's a live edge slab that we milled. Uh, it's a hemlock slab that we milled two years ago. Now we didn't know what it was gonna be yet. Um, it was 12 feet long. We cut it down to eight and a half because that matches our uh, the, the height of our um, walls. So this is gonna be built right into the wall. Um, there's gonna be shelves, you know, every 12 inches or so and uh, those will be like recessed in into the slab and we're going to urethane it and sand it to make it real pretty and we're going to do that yeah and then yeah we're going to put some boards and sheathing behind right. it you'll see that step yeah yeah so this is the first uh, step to that um, maybe I'll make a series uh, you know a playlist of built-in bookshelf or just uh, the process of our of our built-in furniture as we as we go, um, but for right now this is part one of our built-in bookshelf. So day two of the live edge built-in bookshelf. Um, I figured out I don't have a router, so um, what we've done here this a router would have probably this would have been maybe overkill for a router anyway, maybe a pretty tall job tall order for a router. Um, so these are about an inch deep and a little over an inch wide. I can kind of see like that. And um, these are where the shelves will live. So this is the front of the bookshelf. Um, it's got a nice flat back. So what I've been doing is taking our circular saw and just made a bunch of cuts and I just chisel them out and make them try to get it as smooth as possible. It's hemlock so it's pretty, it's uh, kind of the rings are kind of rough, so it's not perfectly smooth, and uh, this chisel is probably, it's not as sharp as it should be. It's pretty, it's pretty dang sharp, but um, it's, it's rough carpenter anyway, I'm not a cabinet maker. Um, so, yeah, so these are scrap pieces of, you know, one by that I'm using just to sort of, as a template, so it'll sit in there. Um, so then when I'm ready for putting this on the wall, there's going to be a nailer, sort of like that, against the back of the wall. So this part is, say this is the wall. Um, I'm going to put a board, one that spans the whole length of this bookshelf, sort of like that. And then the shelves will go here, and then on this board going across will be, it'll look like wall paneling, so it'll be boards going this way, basically. Um, probably thinner than this. But yeah, board's going this way, so that'll be the back of the bookcase. So I'm going to continue um, chiseling out, and I will show you guys the finished product when we're done. Well, the not finished product, but the finished part of this part. <laughs> Alright, so this is uh, basically how these shelves are going to sit. They're going to be, you know, trimmed obviously, and they'll be like that. But you get the picture. Um, They'll be like like that. <laughs> um, it's going to be, I think the shelf is going to be a little over four feet wide because it's going to go standing up like this. It'll go all the way to the end to from basically from this window all the way to that wall, uh, the corner anyway. So um, these shelves are like 12 inches uh, space, 12 inch spaces. So, you know, this bottom one's a little bit, I think, 14 inches so we can stow stuff in there or if we have taller books and uh, 12 was right here and then another 12 would have been right here and this would have been a really small space like 7 inches or so so we just decided to have a really tall uh, top shelf for maybe like a knickknack shelf uh, and this is where that's where it'll end um, 
So I'm going to move this into the shed so it stops getting soaked and it started to rain a little bit. But I really wanted to just finish these uh, little channels. So I'm going to move it into the shelf. I mean, move it into the shed. Move the shelf into the shed. Um, and then maybe we'll start to work on it some more tomorrow. Uh, let me show you the bark side. And also the reason the, those channels don't come all the way to the end right there is because we wanted to keep the bark. Um, so we'll see how that works out. I might have a little bit of trouble putting the shelves in after um, this nailer is up like that. Um, not sure how we're going to do that yet. Uh, there's going to be, so this, this side is going to be standing up up against that window like that. And then on the other side, it's going to go right into the wall frame. Uh, so when we sheath the wall, um, it'll look like these shelves go right into the wall. Well, they do go right into the wall, so that's, it'll look like that. Um, that's the plan anyway, so that's our plan. We're sticking to it, and we're going to see how that turns out. So this is the second step to the built-in bookcase. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just putting... These are the positions of the shelves, actually just above them. So the shelf will rest on these. Um, and these are just scrap pieces of one inch board that I ripped down and uh, this is the nailer that will that the sheathing will be on because um, as I mentioned before there's going to be another nailer right here the slab will come like this nailer will be underneath the slab so that way you won't see any screws going into the slab all the screws will go into the slab this way and the nailer will be screwed to this um, so the next step is yeah just getting the positions of the shelves all laid out um, got them marked I haven't marked the ones at the top because this shelf is gonna go all the way up there um, because the shelves will, as I mentioned will rest on this and then they'll be sheathing going over this so it'll look like the shelves will go right in the in the wall um, and this is pretty cool because it's sort of a double whammy um, we're gonna be Installing a built-in bookcase and finally sheathing some of the wall at the same time. There's not going to be any wiring in this corner, so it's pretty safe to sheath. Uh, actually, it's totally safe, safe to sheath. So yeah, it's pretty cool that we're going to get two birds stoned at once. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to sand the slab that's going to be right here. Uh, we'd like to urethane it. Um, just gotta go. We're gonna make a trip to the hardware right now because we gotta get some sanding discs and some more screws because I'm running out of screws. And when we come back, we will get the rest of these positions laid out. Um, I'll get those on. Shakoy is gonna start sanding because uh, she loves to sand. Isn't that right? <laughs> and um, then this hopefully will be done in the next few days. We're pretty stoked about it because all of our books are currently either laying in a pile right here or they're still in boxes in our shed and I think we also have a few boxes at Shakoy's folks place uh, who live about two hours away so um, we've got lots of boxes we've got lots of books and we want a place for them so we're gonna get going to town and then we're gonna get working on the bookies so one side of the slab is sanded um, it's a little not great to see because the lighting is here. It's a little dark in here right now. But um, this is where, this is the position of the shelves. And on the opposite side, there is these grooves. Um, I just kind of temporarily put it up to see. It's hard for me to um, talk stuff out. And it's easier for me to look at stuff as I'm doing it for, for my brain to make sense of things. Um, so... I'm just trying to really make sure that, you know, these grooves are lining up with these. So I've got some of the boards ready to go up um, for the sheathing behind the bookcase. Uh, these are old barn boards. Um, we're just not going to sand them or anything. We're going to leave them looking old and rustic because that will contrast the sort of creamy color of the hem hemlock slab and the hemlock shelves. Um, so they're just going to be going up on those nailers. They'll also be nailed to these studs. And then after that, I can get ready for uh, putting the shelves up in these grooves. Um, I've got to rip some boards down to size and carve a little notch in here um, for this corner right here. So it can sit on these. 
Um, there's also about half an inch of nailer space right here. Uh, that'll be for the, the boards going this way. Um, those will be the same kind of boards. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to carve a little saw, a little channel in those boards so that the shelves are tucked behind the sheathing. Um, so it looks like they go right into the wall. So I uh, will shoot back when we have a couple of these boards up. Michael's hammering and decorating wreaths. So I'm just test fitting the shelves and uh, they're fitting pretty good. Uh, what I had to do is cut them obviously to length and then like I mentioned before I've had to cut this little seat right here um, for that. and. Uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be enough space for nailing for some of these spots for the sheathing going this way. So I guess what I could do in case there isn't, because up there it looks like there's plenty of space. These boards are all uh, slightly varying thicknesses. So I guess what I could do is put like a strip of this kind of material um, right here flush with this, this edge. So it would be like that, you know, just for nailing purposes. Um, so yeah, the next step is going to keep cutting some of these and then once I get them all um, once I get them all fit, I'll label them so I know which one fits where because um, they're all slightly different. And after I label them with tape or something, I will sand them and I'm not sure if we need to tongue oil them or not. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards no just to save time. Uh, and I guess, well, I mean, I guess it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe we'll sand one of them. We'll sand the bottom too, you know, and then maybe just test spot on the bottom and see if it really makes that much of a difference, um, appearance wise, because if it does, I guess we should do it. Um, just so it kind of matches the slab. So, maybe the live edge part, maybe. I think we should tongue oil the live edge because it makes it pop. Like the bark on the side right here? Yeah. Well, if we do that, then we might as well just do the rest. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's the next step. Um, and then after that, uh, there'll be sheathing on this side, which will kind of match this stuff, because I've got a bunch of offcuts of that that we can probably use. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, excited to get it done and get some sheathing on our walls. Woohoo! What you doing? Finishing the shelf? Yeah. <laughs> the day after you wanted me to, that's okay. Um, just, we got all the boards sanded. We might oil them, but I think that'll probably wait until warmer weather. So we can do it outside, let it dry. So maybe that'll wait till spring. Um, there'll be books on it in the interim, and that's okay. So now I'm getting the paneling sheathing for this wall on. Um, and that entails making cuts so the shelves fit sort of, you know, in the, uh, so the shelves fit in the sheathing. So uh, it's a little um, annoying having to go inside and outside, inside and outside, but I think it's gonna look good. Um, um, we're hauling ass because we're supposed to get what, like eight inches? Eight to 12 inches between the next, of snow, between the next two days, in the next two days. So we gotta get this done because otherwise the generator might not start. We gotta get water. We gotta get a couple supplies in town, sell off a couple of wreaths and then we're in hibernation mode. So built-in bookshelf, almost done, uh, seemingly done. Um, I got the sheathing on the back up, got the sheathing on the front up. Uh, we sanded the shelves. Uh, we will probably um, oil them next spring, or maybe not. 
Um, they look really nice like this, nice and light, but this is the same species of wood, and I oiled this. So if we oil these, it will match the the, the patina, you know, the, the, that color. Um, these old barn boards on the, you know, back and inside are wicked cool. Um, I really like the contrast between the light shelves and the darker uh, barn boards. Um, now what I mean by seemingly done is, like I said, we might have to oil these still. Um, these aren't screwed in, which is good. I mean, there's, there's a little bit of wiggle room, but I, what I can do is slide them in to the wall to take them out of this pocket, and uh, then they should come right out. Um, also, there's little, tiny little gaps right here. Here's a larger one. And what I'm planning to do with these is get some um, like hemp kind of rope, like jute twine kind of thing. A lot of them there's not really a gap at all, you can't see. Um, but some of them that I can see, it bothers me. A lot of people probably wouldn't notice them, but as Shakoy often says, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> but it's just a nice little finishing touch. Uh, you know, you can get the rope to go in any of these little cracks. Same, same thing with these, you know, these aren't as tight as I'd like them to be, but that's, it actually doesn't bother me that much. Um, things like this, doesn't, they don't bother me that much, but you know, the, I think the rope would look pretty, you know, nice and rustic. Um, you can't really, it's hard to get like a good shot of it because the sun's coming from this way and uh, I've got my back up against the wall, literally, and up against the stove, so that's a little hard to, get it to um, focus and really see the contrasting colors. Um, but we're really happy with it. It's really, really nice to see, um, to not see insulation on one part of the wall. Uh, now that we've been living it with it for a couple of months, I think two months maybe. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, we're really, really happy with it. So now the next step is, maybe if I step back further, it'll be um, a little more lit. Um, yeah, the next step is to um, fill it with books, I guess. So that's the built-in Live Edge bookshelf. Hope you guys enjoyed the process, and thanks for watching.